Hi everyone, it's Ernest from Back to Basics. Welcome back to my channel. Um, as I alluded on my last episode, um, we're going to be taking a look at creating a uh, hydroponic non-circulating crack key pot for the remainder of the peppers that I've started this year. Um, this uh, episode is inspired by one of our members in the pepper lover community. Uh, name is Matt Garver. He's had some um, exceptional results with the Kratky non-circulating uh, pots that he's been using and uh, it's inspired me to give it a try on my own. So um, he's used various sizes of 20 to 30 gallons um, but uh, just for uh, necessity and, and for what I have around I'm going to be trying it out with three gallon pots and um, we're going to uh, place one pepper in each of those so um, join me for this uh, journey on uh, a, new, a new way of doing things outdoors and um, we'll see how things go so stay tuned. Okay, so what are we going to be needing to do this project? It's very simple. Um, first thing that we're going to need, of course, is a uh, pot. This is just a three gallon um, pail that I picked up from a vendor who was uh, disposing of them. So this is like my last year's pepper project where I showed you how to create um, self-watering pots from these buckets. I'm just using these again because this is what I have. I picked this up for 50 cents uh, from them. Much cheaper than buying a new one from Lowe's or, or Home Depot. Um, you'll need a piece, a little, some duct tape. I've got some white stuff and you'll see why. A pair of scissors. Some net pots. Uh, as you can see I'm planning on doing a bunch of these. A lid for your container and I've got a bag of hydrogen here uh, for putting around my plant. The one thing that uh, I'm going to be doing different than others have uh, and uh, it actually was a great idea that was pa passed on to me from um, my local hydroponics store I have heard uh, other people using these types of pots say that because they're white, and you'll see why here, you can see how uh, uh, there's a lot of light that's going to get through on this. Now a number of people have um, painted these black, and uh, that works. And the whole reason you want to keep the light out of here is to reduce uh, possibilities of root rot and also your uh, nutrient solution. Um, getting a nice algae bloom in them. Now the thing that was pointed out to me when I was discussing how to what I was doing at my local hydroponic store, uh, he suggested this um, poly um, covering. Now if you if you go in there you're gonna find that this type of a of a sheet of uh, plastic is white on one side and it's black on the other and it's completely light proof. Now normally these are for making um, uh, hydroponic um, tables where you want to keep the light out and cover this, stretch this across and cover it. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut pieces of this and I'm going to wrap the bucket with it. So not only will it be light type, it's going to stay white um, which will uh, please my better half in the backyard and um, and it's going to be much better than using paint. Um, paint I know doesn't stick well to vinyl and uh, or plastic I should say and this stuff was very inexpensive. Um, this costs a dollar a foot but hold on um, each foot is 10 feet wide so I bought four feet cost me four dollars and I'm gonna have enough of this material to cover 20 of my pots that I'm creating. So um, 
I figure my my initial cost of all of this is uh, 50 cents for my bucket that I bought. You might be able to get it for free. Um, working out how many I'm going to get out of here. I mean that's uh, 20 divided by uh, $4 divided by 20 so that's what 5 um, 20 cents so that's 70 cents. My most expensive thing was this net pot which cost me 60 cents so that's what 80 and some hydro tin which I buy loose probably 15 cents so for under a dollar uh, oh yes, and the duct tape from the dollar store. Um, so what? Another another nickel. So for under a dollar, I'm going to be able to create these pots, and that's just my initial outlay. So I'll be able to use these uh, year in and year out. So uh, let's get to showing you how we do this. Okay, so I've just laid this out. The width from here to this side here is approximately well. It's exactly four feet wide. This piece from here all the way to there is 10 feet. Now what I've done is I've measured um, what the uh, circumference of this pail is and it works out to about uh, 2.6, 2 feet 6 inches. So uh, that's going to allow me out of my 10 foot roll to get uh, four strips, uh, four feet wide, um, which equals 20 pots. So um, all I'm going to do is measure out my two feet six inches, which just nicely comes to about a half an inch from this fold, which will help me a lot uh, do things quicker. So uh, let's just cut this first strip. We'll get to it. There you go, nice and simple. Okay, so now I'm just going to check that I did things right here, just to show you. Uh, I put this right up to my edge here, and I wrap this around. It's just nicely going to cover this completely, and it's still going to look very appealing in the yard. So let me just cut this into a proper strip, and we'll see how it looks like once I've attached it to this bucket. So now that we know what our circumference is for this pot, I just need to cut height that's going to be from here to here. So when I measure this, it is uh, 11 and a half inches. So I'm going to actually cut it for 12 and you'll see why because I'm actually going to use the lid to help it keep it down on the top. So I'll, I'll need that extra half an inch. So now I have it right here. I'm just going to start making my cuts. There we go. Now, let's just move this out of the way. So now we've got our piece of plastic which will nicely fit around this entire piece. Like so. There you go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of duct tape, white duct tape, and I'm going to seal this piece here and uh, we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so there you have it. Um, it's now wrapped completely with it. As you can see, I uh, had a little bit overlap on the top um, just because, you know, when you wrap around a pail that has a slimmer bottom than the top, uh, you pinch it together, it doesn't go around right. But my main purpose for leaving that extra bit is so that my lid will hold that down. So the next point to do is to just place your lid on it, like so. And that's it. Now we're going to still have to cut a hole for this, but uh, you can see this is now light tight and I'll show you in a minute to prove that. I'm not worried about the bottom that's going to be in my grass. So uh, this not only looks nicer being white in the yard, it also reflects, keeps uh, the heat out. If this was black, this would be starting to really pull in. I really noticed when I was cutting it that just leaning on that black side of it was, was really getting hot out here on the deck. So um, let's see how effective this okay. is. Okay, so this is where my pots will be sitting uh, in the grass. That's why, like I said, I wasn't worried about what was on the bottom. 
But the proof of whether this is light tight here in full absolute sun will be tested. So let's see how this works. Okay. First thing we're gonna try is seeing how it looks from the sides. So let's put the camera into the box and see. Right now you're seeing the amount of light that's coming through and let's see what it looks like with the lid on. How's that look? Now let's try it looking straight up. I know this is probably not a, my best angle to be looked at, but uh, let's see how it looks like with the lid on. If you're not seeing anything, that's probably great. And that's what I'm hoping for. So, uh, take off the lid. And let's start cutting our hole for our net pot. Okay, now that we know that it's basically light tight, except for that little bit you saw around the edge, but I'm not worried about that. I don't think that's going to do any effect on our roots. What we have to do now is cut a hole for our net pot. So, very simple. We're going to just trace out um, the uh, circumference of our net pot and cut it. So let's get to that. Really simple. Now, of course, I did the outside. You can see that there is actually a lip on here, so I will be cutting this within it at about uh, this much of a... leaving about that much of it onto there, so let's get to that. There we go. So we'll just make sure this fits. And there we have our lid for our net pot. So um, that's basically all we have to do. Let's just put this on top. You'll see what it looks like. Okay, there we go. Just take this, place it on top. And we have one finished hydroponic, non-circulating Kratky three gallon pot. So please, I hope you enjoyed this video on seeing how simple these really are to make. Um, literally, if I wasn't explaining how to do this, I've already made a few of them. These only take about <laughs> five minutes to make uh, once you've got your materials and uh, maybe you're even quicker. So uh, please stay tuned for part two of this video where we're going to take our peppers and I'll show you how to plant a pepper into it. We're going to put our nutrient in um, and uh, fill it up and get the rest of these peppers that we've started this year uh, outdoors uh, for this Kratia experiment. Once again, thanks again uh, Matt Garver for your ideas. Uh, you've been fabulous. Uh, discussing uh, things with me and I appreciate uh, the input you've been helping me with so thanks everyone please like and subscribe and stay tuned for part two